Well, I am proceeding to towards Karnataka on 25th of March and I will be there for nine days, five days in Bangalore, Udupi area and four days in Bangalore. My main purpose is twofold. Number one, I want to awaken the conscience of the electorate that they should not be carried away by prejudice. Rather, this is a very important election where you have to assert or bring back the authority of assembly, which has been severely curtailed by the sectarian state that relies more on administrative officers, IS officers, and less on representatives or MLAs. It also saw a defection, a very brutal and manipulative defection and change of regime in the state. So I think electorate should be conscious of this. And secondly, the state as well as the center are exposed of a nexus between the government and the corporate. This nexus must be broken. And so this election is very important. I want to make the people conscious of it and then install a government that is free from prejudice, from partition or sectarian assertions like hijab unnecessarily created to melin the education system. And also Karnataka is a place which is the biggest hub of information technology in Bangalore and the total revenue the state gets is about 60% from Bangalore itself. Whereas the farmers in many areas are committing suicide. So this is a place where farmers, farmers require a special attention. So this kind of government should be there. So this is one part of my objective. Second objective is to reach out to the students and teachers and ask them to liberate the campuses from sectarian attitude or any sorts of pressure or restriction on free thinking. This is the 75th year of independence. We should respect our freedom fighters rather than maligning them for fictitious and mythical controversies. So I want people to be objective and especially pay full attention to the mass movement of struggle led by Gandhi after 1915. Second thing is that I would like to speak on science and freedom because science has been a double-edged weapon. It has been suppressive of freedom as well as it has been a liberator also. So I want people to pay attention, especially in a time when information technology is making great advances and influencing all sectors of economy. I want people to learn its negative effects also and counter those negative effects. The negative effects like media. Media should be objective. It should be pro-people, transparent, critical of the policies of the state. And this is important. And similarly, new jobs must be created. So economy must be put on a track that brings employment rather than bringing profit to a handful of few. So this is the kind of thing I want to do in Karnataka. And I want assistance of all sections of society. I would like to meet some farmers or farmer leaders understand their problems in Karnataka and uh, also I would like to learn their culture. India is very rich in its culture and I would like to talk to different segments of people. I hope I get opportunity to talk to all sorts of people. Thank you.